And what we do in the world of healthcare right now is essentially it's a system in which we fix you after you're sick. You develop a condition, we diagnose it, we come up with a form of treatment, right? And we're having this big political debate in Washington about, you know, healthcare reform and, you know, the country is split. The future of healthcare has absolutely nothing to do with what is going on in Washington. The future of healthcare has everything to do with the fact that we are transitioning from a system in which we fix you after you're sick to a system in which we know what you're going to become sick with and we're going to re-architect the delivery of healthcare based upon that knowledge. We are in a world in which we can look at a couple of hundred strands of your DNA and determine with a huge degree of accuracy what conditions you're likely to develop throughout your lifetime. That changes everything. The world of preventative medicine, the world of genomic medicine, the world of DNA-based medicine changes everything. When we wake up 10 years from now in the world of 2022, you know, we're going to look at the world of healthcare and we're going to go, wow, it's gone upside down. We've gone from a system in which we fix you after you're sick to a system in which we know what you're going to become sick with and we've re-architected the care based upon that knowledge. Big, massive, fundamental, earth-shaking transformation is underway right now. What is so absolutely fascinating about this is Silicon Valley is getting involved. You know, we have these genomic sequencing machines, the machines that look at your genes and determine, you know, which conditions you're likely to develop. And what's happening is Silicon Valley is getting involved in developing the next generation of these machines. And these machines are being subjected to what we call Moore's Law. Remember Moore's Law? Moore's Law is the, the, the law that the power of a computer doubles every year and the cost cuts in half. And the same thing is happening with human genomic sequencing machines. You know, as, as Silicon Valley takes over the development, the, the processing power of the machine is doubling every year and the cost cuts in half. Ten years from now, we'll go into Radio Shack, we'll be able to buy a $5 human genomic sequencing machine. You know, do a little pinprick on our blood, and it's going to, you know, tell us what we're in for. Velocity of change. Think about what this does in the world of healthcare. How, how are we going to know what we're doing in the world of healthcare when we're undergoing such a massive fundamental change? I speak at a lot of healthcare conferences. And I was speaking to one, and I was saying, you know, what is going to happen extremely quickly is we are simply going to have specialists in the world of healthcare, who are experts at interpreting what it is we're getting from these machines in terms of analyzing, you know, the health path of a particular human being. Specialized skills that we don't even know exist today are going to emerge at an extremely furious pace.